Hello family, today is the 12th of June, today is Tuesday, and I have come on to talk about love and hip-hop. Family, that was one of the best episodes I have seen in a long time. It was so organic, it was real, it was adult-like, it was very, very mature. The relationships, the, the man, oh my God, the communication, that was a, it, man, listen... I mean, even though Jessica Dime did grab, you know what I'm saying, you know, AliExpress off that ass, you know what I'm saying, she, you know what I'm saying, she got that treasure's ass, but, you know, that wasn't really her fight, you know what I'm saying, but I do like me some Jessica Dime, uh, 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 uh Jessica Dime, I, I, I think she's absolutely gorgeous, you know, and... For her to, because you can tell that she's been rough around the edges. You can tell that. But you can also tell that be, be, beyond the the hard shell, she's very, very soft and mushy. You can tell that as well. And, man, I just think, I think she's gorgeous. I'm just so excited about her new profound relationship she got going and engagement and all that old type of shit. You know what? Jocelyn already done got fired any motherfucking way, so the streets is already saying. So then therefore, okay, go ahead on and phase that ass out. Because honestly, I do like Jocelyn, but I understand she's trying to get her own little show. She's trying to get her own little tilt. But you can't be disrespectful to the person that signed your checks. That's crazy. That's called legalized pimping. And last I checked, she ain't running shit over there. That's Mona shit. Oh, okay, so since she want to come reckless by the mouth, then therefore sit that ass down. You know what I'm saying? Make that ass come back and want to come back on the show. Make that ass do some nini leak on that ass. You know what I'm saying? Sit that motherfucker down, recess that ass, and then allow that motherfucker to realize, okay, look, check this out. I had me a nice little proper ass gig. I'm losing out on money around this motherfucker. Man, uh, Mona, can we talk? Because that ass will come back, won't she? Because... I don't understand now, what was that a couple of seasons ago, when it first came on, the crack of the season, they showed Jocelyn and Stevie in this beautiful mansion, you know what I'm saying, oh my god, they was balling out of control, she Puerto Rican princess, she's doing this, that, and the other, from island to motherfucking island, what the fuck did you do with your money, mama, what did you do with your money, what you do with your money, baby? For the life of me, I don't understand. Okay? And maybe it's just a Virgo in me because I'm grounded and I love stability. But the thing is, if these shows in which they get they, they get chunks, you know what I'm saying? They get lump sums of money. Why aren't you getting you something, getting in something that you can afford? And now that you have a baby, okay? Now that you have a baby... The outfit, I didn't understand that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That the play date. I didn't understand the boots and all that old type of shit. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? You doing you, okay? But that was some Harper Valley PTA whole goddamn get up that I truly didn't understand. But it's okay. Uh, check this out. We're going to be taping in the park from 11 to 2. So, in there for, hey, look, check this out. I'm going to be on TV. Y'all going to see me. VH1, check me out. I'm going to put my boots on. I'm going to have all my shit on, this, this, and this. And I'm going to give my baby a Cheeto. I didn't understand none of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand none of that shit. But, however, though, mama, I really, really, really wish that Mona and them would invest in really getting you some counseling. Look like you need it, you know what I'm saying? And I do say that respectfully. I'm not saying I'm I'm not casting no shade, no none of that bullshit. I'm just saying no. You know, because a lot of times when we're battling past pain, a lot of times we don't really know how foolish we're really looking. And we're not we're not really grasping the fact that we keep having these same revolving doors and we're attracting negativity and bullshit and wanting to fight and all this aggression and all this shit because there's some past pain somewhere that truly need to be digested, you know? Sometimes a lot of people need to go up under a little hypnosis to really get to the root of their problems as to what the hell is really ailing you. And a lot of times people don't know. People don't know because this is some childhood shit, some shit that you've, 
you know, you've put a mask over, a blanket over, and you've compiled lies and bullshit on top of it as though it never exists. And you know what? I'm getting this out of my mind, but it never goes away until you open up the bullshit, digest it, clean it out. You know, just like a wound. A wound has to be debrided. It has to be cleansed out before it can heal from the bottom up. You have to clean it and debride it, okay? So then, therefore, that's the only way you're going to digest the problem. You can't put a mask over a problem and act like it's going to go away or it never existed. Because then, therefore, you're going to be so angry. Your understanding is going to be bad. You're going to be fighting every motherfucking body. And that ain't where it's at. And especially when you begin to have children. you When you begin to have children, the same shit that you're doing, you're putting that same shit in your kids. Because they're seeing your aggression. They're seeing how you lying from one person to somebody else. You lying. You done lied to my daddy. You done lied to my friends. You done lied to my teachers. You done lied to the school. You done lied to so-and-so. You done lied to the neighbors. Mama, you're a liar. Daddy, the truth ain't in you. You guys can walk around and think that your kids don't see what the fuck's going on. And they really see every goddamn thing that you do. And if you want your kids to have nice and loving relationships in this life and be able to also take care of you, then therefore, guess what? You have to be a damn good, decent ass example to your children. I'm a work in progress. I'm still working on it, okay? So then therefore, it's something that you can always jump into on some repairing shit. And that is what I ask for her and for Stevie J, if they're going to co-parent or whatever they get at, whatever they're going to do. But all this fighting and shit, this shit is crazy, though. Because what is it doing for somebody to get locked up, for somebody to really get hurt? Now nah, that's crazy to me. So, I, you know, that's all I got. That's all I got, Jocelyn. Give what you can afford, though, mama. That's one thing I do say for you. You, me, me, and the rest of the motherfuckers, please give what you can afford. Okay, that's one thing I can say about motherfucking Tammy because I do like me some Tammy. Tammy and Waka, oh my God, I like they little get down. I like they set up. I like, um, I like his humility as a man. I like the way he loves his wife. I love the fact that he's apologizing to her. He's trying to make amends. You know what? Check that. Check this out. I did fuck that bitch. I did. It was kind of good too. But guess what? I made a mistake. I didn't mean to do it. I got caught up. I was high. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had a couple of yanks. You know what I'm saying? Got caught up. But what me and her had ain't got shit to do with what me and you got going on. Because a lot of times when dudes go out and go, you know, go have these extramarital affairs, they really don't give a fuck about these bitches. Let's just be clear about it, okay? It don't mean nothing. That's just a piece of pussy for the night, okay? Because pussy don't have no faith. That's why a lot of times when you look at the wife or you look at the main one, very beautiful woman. But this other motherfucker... On baboon status. Why? Because that bitch right there is willing to hook a crook, do whatever it takes to make this motherfucker come and whatever the fuck else. That's just the way it go. And that's what they gravitate to. They're not going to gravitate to the one that's going to make them go through some trials and tribulations to get. No, they want the easy ones. And them easy ones, them motherfuckers right there subjected to have teeth missing. Them bitches got vacancies across their fronts. All that old type of shit. pH balance thrown off. That's why they come back and bring the wives and the, the main chicks the bullshit. Because they out there on shenanigans. Okay? And so, and he pretty much put it out there that, you know what, I made some mistakes, Tammy. I'm sorry. I want my wife back. I want to come home. He, he out here roller skating with his daughter a couple of weeks back and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just like their get down. You could tell that their union is going to last the test of time. I really believe that. And that is what, you know, that's what I want to put out, you know, because I really like her as an individual from what they portray of her. Because please understand that this is soft acting, okay? And it's mildly scripted. That's just the way it go. I am a ghostwriter. So I'm telling you guys right now, a lot of this shit is scripted to a degree. A lot of these situations and scenarios are, are put together, okay? Just like um, um, uh, um, Tucker, uh, uh, Candy's husband. Okay, now, he was working for True Entertainment. 
Okay, so then therefore, by him being a producer, uh, was doing that, then therefore he was one that would set up scenarios and put shit together and make, the, you know, let's bring drinks. Okay, we're going to set it up. We're going to go to this cafe or we're going to go to this diner or we're going gonna, gonna to shoot in the park for two hours. You know, it's set up ahead of time. Okay, everything is set up. The motherfuckers just ain't showing up at the restaurant. Okay, and the motherfuckers that be sitting in the back of the restaurant are their assistants, different stagehand people, this, this, this. The restaurant is subjected to be closed for three hours because they're taping on that day. This is just the way this shit go. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of the background, okay? So what you see, some of it is depicted of their character and some of it is fictional. You know what I'm saying? Some of it is, you know, it's laced with a little... Dub, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 uh you put a ten on a two, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. But that's part of reality TV, and that's one thing that we like about it. So, but this Rashida and her husband, I'd never tell a woman to leave her husband. And and Rashida, I have mad respect for you, and it's never my place to tell a woman to leave her husband. And that ain't for me to say. But what I will say to you is strengthen yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Then therefore, it's easy to make decisions when you're standing firm and to know as to who you are. Okay? Then therefore, a lot of times you're not open to shenanigan or bullshit because people already know how to how to how to handle you and they know they know okay no nah, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna roll over well I ain't gonna be able to do that you know what I'm saying and from the time from years back this man done done so much reckless shit you know what I'm saying and then it also puts you on the line okay is some of this real or is some of this scripted because some of this shit just don't be seeming right sometimes you know what I'm saying so you gotta look at it as that too you know, and she's also a businesswoman. She got pressed and she got all kind of other different businesses and whatnot. Look, check this out. We need a storyline up in this bitch. So, then therefore, we can keep having this motherfucking money rolling up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We got houses and whatnot. You know what I mean? So, then therefore, it is a business. So, then therefore, you guys just keep that in mind as you guys are watching the show and everything. It's a business. And she's about hers. You know what I'm saying? She's on some home ownership. Look, let me let me take it. Because she ain't moving all around. If you notice, just like Candy, okay? Candy ain't moving all around. That same house, she got that motherfucker, the first house from that understanding money. You know what I'm saying? Little secret money and all that old type of shit. Yeah, yeah. This, this house right here was the elevated game. But the other house that the mama dude was over there and was fucking up, in which I didn't understand why the mama didn't want to stay in that house no way, which was greedy as hell. And then, you know, Candy still in turn bought her mama something else. But, you know, that's a different show. You know what I'm saying? But still, you know what I mean? But, you know, when, when you are getting an overflow or a whirlwind or, a, you know, a stack of money dropped in your lap, damn it, you're supposed to, you know, get you some stability. Okay? You don't buy a note. You know what I'm saying? Because people, oh, I bought me a new car. No, you didn't. You bought you bought a note. <laughs> you didn't. No, that ain't your car. That's yours and CarMax or whoever the fuck you didn't drive time or whatever to get down is. That ain't your car, boo. That's their car until you go ahead on and pay these motherfuckers off. And last I checked, nowadays they want to do six, seven years worth of goddamn payment. You don't know what the fuck might happen to your ass in such a time. So why, if you have the ability to pay some shit off, why are you buying a note? That's crazy as hell to me. So, Jocelyn, um, Mimi, and Mimi, I ain't mad at you because you got your little pussy eater on the show. I ain't mad at it. This motherfucker's really into your ass. Girl, this motherfucker's really, in this motherfucker apologized so goddamn beautiful. I was like, she was like, I, I just really want what we had again. And I just, man, I was like, wow. You know what I mean? You could tell it's like she's a little kid or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how old she is, but I know me and Mimi around the same. So I'm like, okay, I don't know how old this motherfucker is, but goddamn. What's, what you really mad at is the fact that Adrian got her motherfucking pussy sucked on too. That is the problem. Let me just be honest about it. I think that is the main motherfucking problem. You wanted this right here just for you. But then when it came out that she done already done dipped in on, on your partner, you know what I'm saying, and you was the last to know it, that's what you're mad at. Because if, if, if she's 
Don't put it on this Jocelyn shit. And that's another thing that you need to get over. But, but apparently you're not. You're not over Stevie J. Because if you was, you wouldn't give a fuck about none of that old type of shit. Now, I do understand, you know, your relationship um, with, with Stevie J. You don't want, you know, your daughter and all this. all this. But, mama, look, check this out. You're trying to run too much shit, Capricorn. You can't, you can't run all. You can't let, let go of some of this control. It's obvious Stevie J, he, he doing him. Now he didn't have a whole nother baby and all that old type of shit, okay? Now I understand that you done got 14, 15, 15, 11 years, whatever to get down there. I understand you got this shit invested in him. But he's pretty much doing him. He probably still want to hit it from time to time, and y'all probably still venture back on that, you know what I'm saying? But, however, though, you can't really run what he got going on over there, though, mama. I mean, I understand what you're saying and everything. I got it. But what you're trying to stipulate is some crazy shit to a degree. I mean, it's not even, come on, you can't tell him on who he can't have at his pad. But what you can tell him on how these motherfuckers treat your daughter. You know what I'm saying? But all who come to his pad and all that, mama, I don't know now. Come on. But... I'm going to ask that you also buy you some shit that you can afford and make sure you buy you a home because the near four, check this out. I don't know how many more get downs, you know, how you can really, you know, really extend your lifespan on the show. You know what I mean? Because at this point in time, mama, you look like an old ass motherfucking pimp. And I'm not saying old as an age old. Please understand. I'm not saying that because me and you stay around the same motherfucking age. I think you one year older than me. So, I'm not saying old as in on some old, old maid shit. Please, don't. no. What I'm saying is on some old, look, check this out, uh, bitch. Uh, you gonna do this right here. You gonna do this right here. It's like you shot calling and big balling up on that motherfucker. I ain't mad at it. Okay? And this one right here, she willing to do whatever and all that old type of shit. Yeah, you having fun. But I'm going to ask that you just buy you a home, buy you some shit that you can afford. You know what I'm saying? Because you done already put it out there that this motherfucker right here is behind on payments. This motherfucker's in the reals. You know what I'm saying? You done already put that shit out uh, so-and-so episodes back. You know what I'm saying? Seasons back and all that old type of shit. You probably done gave up on the motherfucker really giving you some money. He's a put something on it ass nigga. It's obvious at this point in time. Oh, I'll go and buy the baby some joys. Oh, I'll go and buy some sweatsuits. Oh, they got the new Yeezys. I'll go and go. Let me tell you something, fellas. Okay. All that shit is bullshit. All them goddamn tennis shoes and all that. I'm putting $60 in my son's pocket when I see him and all that bullshit. That shit don't mean a hill of beans when it comes down to the grand scheme of things. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, all that money and all that bullshit ain't gonna mean nothing. What is, though, is the time that you actually spent with your children. The money is some bullshit. Once the batteries go out on some of that bullshit, they put that shit on the shelf any goddamn way, don't they? So then, therefore, you can go out there thinking that you, oh, well, what kind of shoes did you buy your son? Shit, on um, uh, my last, what, what you call it, motherfucker was going off on me because I didn't buy my, I didn't get my son. He didn't merit them motherfucking shoes. You know what I'm saying? And so my ex was like, well, how come you didn't get the shoes? That, that was very juvenile, my friend. I know we on some old love and hip-hop shit, but I'm just on this right here for a minute because I'm on this right here. But, yeah, that was real juvenile, my friend, because kids get... What they are deserving to have. I'm not getting to buy this boy no two, three hundred dollar size seventeens. You know what I'm saying? If he don't merit that. But you know we were going back and forth because you felt like, uh, well, so what? Still get him. Nah, I ain't that type of parent, partner. No, no, no. It's an earning factor over here with me. Okay, it's called earnings. Okay, yeah. That's growing kids up the way they need to be grown up. That's really raising some kids, you know what I'm saying, where they got to work towards some shit. That's a whole nother shit. But, 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 you know, when I look at Stevie J, that is what I see, you know what I'm saying? I see a man that's basically, when he see his kids, he putting money in their pockets. He buying them shoes. Well, he was working over here in Bad Boy, you know what I'm saying, get him some concert tickets to the show. They ain't seen his ass in nine months, but all of a sudden now, here you come with some Jordans, and here you come with this. Daddy got you $100, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's not parenting. That's not parenting. It's full time, Okay. The parenting is full motherfucking time. 
So, enough on them motherfuckers. Who else is on this goddamn what's her name? Okay, uh, we talked about Rashida. Treasure, I don't know what you was doing. Yeah, you needed to catch that fade, mama. You needed to. And if and if women don't start tacking these motherfucking what's, what's the names down, now you probably had your edges and shit fucked off because your shit was probably glued down. And the way Jessica grabbed your shit, oh, my God. I said, oh, my God. Did she? Mama. Jessica, you got you a nice husband. You know what I'm saying? Fiance, he trying to, you know what I'm saying? He didn't. What is this with, uh, I got me a real woman. What is that? I don't know what the, I don't know what men be meaning when they say that old type of shit. I don't know what that is, a real woman. Ain't we all real women? Damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I, because talking about a woman's hair and nails and if they wearing contact lenses or whatever, that's very, very superficial. That's superficial. That's back on that lust shit. But to say a real woman, what is a real woman? I really would like to know, fellas. What is what is considered as a real woman? Because he who have not seen cast the first stone. And last I checked, y'all motherfuckers do shit in buckets. Y'all ain't got no problems with doing bullshit. Y'all stay laced with bullshit. So then therefore, uh, I need me a real woman. Come on now. Or, or do you mean that you just need somebody to put up with your bullshit? That's a whole nother video. We back on this right here, okay? We done talk about Jessica Dime. I got my notes right here. Paperwork. Okay, Melissa and Mimi, Carly Red. Listen, my mom, we all around the same age, too. You know what I mean? You are absolutely gorgeous. I understand your flight, your, your plight. I understand exactly where you at with it. You know what I'm saying? Very beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? You got some real cool shit going on. They don't never show your pad. But, and that's all right. What you say, this ain't got nothing to do with the show. Shit, nigga. We filming from 10, from 10 to, to 2, where I got to show up at. It's no problem. You ain't got to be all at my pad. You know what I mean? You the only one, really, they ain't really be showing the they, they house or whatever. Which is not a required or desire. That's your own personal spot. Your personal space. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I really, really would like for you to end up in a loving union. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's all over your face that that's what you want. I'm on the same shit you want. You know what I mean? You know, it's like shit. I dial it up. I dial it down. I dial it down sometimes because then therefore I don't want a man to just be so attracted to what I look like fixed up all the time. You know what I'm saying? Be attracted to me when I ain't got my motherfucking hair on. When I ain't got all of this on. I ain't got no eyelashes on. Hell, be attracted to that equally as attracted to the fact when I get filleted. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. You don't want motherfuckers just attracted to the cut crease and all this old type of shit and all this rouge and all this bullshit. No. No. And up under all of that, I'm, I, I know that you're a beautiful woman because you have beautiful features. And honestly, on some real shit, you got Jock fucked up. He really want to be with you. He really, really, really want to be with you. Otherwise, that motherfucker, he wouldn't have came down there and bringing old girl was just some shit to fuck with you. You can tell them motherfuckers wasn't even all together like that. Because when he went back to her motherfucking room, he didn't really give a fuck if the bitch was leaving or staying or whatever she was doing. He was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? That was a courtesy walk to walk her back. You know what I'm saying? Help her get her shit back shifted right. You know what I'm saying? To shield from Jessica from still jumping on that ass. But I do appreciate the fact that Jessica didn't take it no further than that. She went on and, you know, shifted her shit. And after that, she grabbed her what's her name and all that. Y'all ready to go? Did y'all see how Mimi was doing? Shit, Mimi was sitting up there like a motherfucking pimp, nigga. Like a madam around this motherfucker. Like, shit, nigga, this is cheese. And this is, uh, I got some grapes on my plate. You know what I'm saying? I got some ham and some crackers and the shit. I got me a drink and shit right here. What's happening? No. This ain't got nothing to do with them, shit. Beat that bitch's ass. Did you get her? Did you see how she was looking? She didn't give a fuck, did she? She was like, okay, well, what's happening? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Which old girl was completely out of the line. She was out of line. You come up in here with the jump off shit, bitch. We we on some couple shit up in this motherfucker. And the nigga that you up here with, nigga, you ain't doing the... What? What? That was... A, so, as I told y'all before, that was a setup, okay? That was a setup. That was just some extra shit, uh, extra twist to throw into the what's her name. And I wouldn't be surprised if... You know, um, an extra little, you know, 500 probably be thrown in there for, you know, if y'all, if you get into it, you know what I'm saying, I, 
there's a bonus to be given, you know what I'm saying? But just hit her one time. You, I wouldn't be surprised. I just wouldn't, okay? That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to factor that in because it's like, it's, it's a little scripted. But, man, um, I love the fact that Jock did come back and apologize for his transgressions. That was, I mean, that was, that, that was standard. You know, I mean, he let go of the juvenile shit and came in there and stepped to it like a man. He really, really, really want to fuck with Carly Red, And Carly Red throw that leg back and all that old type of shit. She, we all in the same what's the name. So when you on that type of level, man, look at here. Look at here. Every one of your motherfucking exes don't mind coming back. The motherfuckers is like, well, shit, well, check this out, okay. Well, when that nigga, when that nigga fuck up. Okay, then therefore, can I call you in 45 days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if life and the rest of them motherfuckers have been trying to holler back. You know what I mean? He just the one that's still just kind of fucked up with it all. You know what I mean? But one thing I can say about him, he's about his motherfucking business. He got him a home and, you know what I'm saying, I'm certain that's some shit he probably had for a long time. Based on the little animals and shit he got, yeah. So he's a little grounded. He's like, well, shit, check this out. Uh, you know, um, that motherfucker said, well, look, check this out. Let me buy and get, get me some stability around this motherfucker with a treehouse. I ain't really mad at him on, on how it's get down. But the Sam Cook look, I ain't going to be able to work with that, though, Jock. I don't know. I mean, that's the same shit I felt when, I, when when motherfucking Snoop got his nails done. I said, nigga, if you don't get that shit off your paws, motherfucker. What is you doing, knuckle? The motherfucker showed up in the goddamn game last night because California won a championship. Shout out to motherfucking Golden State. But why Snoop come up in that motherfucker with a robe and shit? I said, nigga, if you don't... That motherfucker came in there like a grand wizard. Y'all better look at that shit. That motherfucker came in there looking crazy as a motherfucker. I said, nigga, if you don't stop that, please. Yeah, Snoop did that at the game last night. N nigga, they had that shit all on the goddamn TV, all on the goddamn Technotron or whatever that shit. The big, what's the name? Yeah, this nigga came in there with a robe on like motherfucking Merlin. I said, oh my God, nigga, what is you doing? Yeah. But at any rate, I watched Love and Hip Hop last night. It was one of the best episodes I'd seen in a long time. I enjoyed the boat ride. I enjoyed the girl trip. I enjoyed the niggas coming in. I enjoyed the whole get down. That was truly, truly, truly. Can we get some of that Mona, please? Can we just get that type? So if you want to phase out, what's her name, Jocelyn, it's no problem. Because we got Tammy, we got Jessica Dine. They're coming in, bringing it in. Now, you can take the little, you know, the little, the the club kid, the, uh, what's her name, the little, the little Chinaman, excuse me. I mean that respectfully, okay? I don't need nobody coming in my motherfucking what's her name. Okay, we live in California. California, we say all kind of crazy shit. Bill Maher lives here, okay? So we say crazy shit here. So we don't mean no harm, no foul by it. But the little club kid, the one with the, what's her name? The, the, the met up with Jocelyn. The motherfucker look like, look like a little superhero. What's her name? Well, what's the, what, what's them little, what was them little girl's name? Powerpuff Girls. That one of them motherfuckers. What's her name? I can't think of her name. I know y'all saying it to me. But that motherfucker there, yeah, you can go and phase that bitch off the show, too. I, I don't give a fuck about what kind of nails she do. I, I mean, bitch, you trying to call some shit. Now, the motherfucking one that was on there a couple of weeks ago with the fine-ass motherfucking husband. God damn, that motherfucker was fine as a motherfucker. And, and she went on the girls' camping trip with him. What, what was her name? Very beautiful young lady. Very beautiful lady. Got a little beauty salon and shit. Be very be now, it would have been cool, but I guess her and her husband, they motherfuckers, they on their own shit. You know what I mean? This motherfucker been giving stacks and stacks to the assistant. Shit. Nigga, you giving off the, the, the family money, nigga? Oh, my God. And you my husband. You you tricking off our money, man. So you already know they going through some tribulations. You know what I mean? So, at any rate, I love this show. I'm a Tammy fan. I'm on Tammy. I'm team motherfucking Tammy. I like Tammy. I like Tammy's get down. You know, I like her business sense. She's trying to take care of business. Got a bomb ass motherfucking Instagram. Body tight. Has some work done. I ain't mad at it. Either way, what you supposed to look like when you got a disposable income? I'm just asking. You know what I'm saying for the motherfuckers that want to get mad. Um, what if you had it? What would you look like? If you had the money, would you get a tummy tuck or not? I'm just saying. 
Because women will have a tendency to get mad at what the fuck that they can't do right now. That just means that you won't never be able to do it. It's just right now, based on your circumstances right now. But if you keep the faith, nigga, you get tum tummy tuck, Brazilian butt lift, titty lift, whatever your get down is if you keep the faith. But as long as you're going to be a hater, guess what? God ain't going to bring you nothing. You ain't going to get nothing. So ain't no sense of being mad at Tammy and the rest of our motherfucking asses as able. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So anyway... I guess I done covered everything that I needed to because that motherfucking episode was off the chain. I I enjoyed every bit of that shit. Matter of fact, it's 12.22 in the a.m. It's Wednesday now. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's on right now, matter of fact. So I got me a taco. I'm going to run up on that, okay? And I'm going to watch this shit one more again. Shout out to motherfucking Love and Hip Hop. That shit was good, okay? That shit was good to me. Okay, now they can go ahead on the face the rest of these motherfuckers out just like they did with Scrappy and all that. Cause okay, he wanna cause see Scrappy ain't ready. You know what I'm saying? He's still on some juvenile shit. He's still on some quantity. You know when a man ain't matured when he's on quantity. Quantity, man, what kind of shit is that? No, you if, fuck quantity. That can't do shit with quality. You know what I'm saying? A grown-ass man, he don't need two, three, four, five, four, five, fifty, eleven bitches on his arm. He don't, he don't, he don't need that. A grown-ass man that's really on some old spiritual growth shit, scrap ain't there yet, okay? And respectfully, look how, you know what I'm saying, look at his motherfucking, you know, upbringing. His mama was doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? Had bitches selling pussy by the pound. So his perception of what a woman is supposed to be, when a boy see his mama doing some real crazy, reckless ass shit, his faith in a woman is diminished. They begin to look at women as bitches, broads, hoes, sluts, you know, trick ass, this, that. You know, there's no respect given whatsoever when they, when they you know, talking about a woman or the way in which they treat one. Because... They have been programmed to believe that a woman is full of some bullshit, some shenanigans, some trickery. You know what I'm saying? So really, on some real shit, I really like Scrap. I think he's a handsome-ass man. But he do got them goddamn dominoes in his motherfucking mouth. Goddamn, he said, give me the big ones. Didn't he? That nigga shit as big as mom can see. Hell yeah, I said, motherfucker, if you don't close your goddamn mouth, nigga. Them big-ass motherfucking dominoes in your motherfucking mouth. Yeah, motherfucking pellets. Mm-mm. They too big, scrap. But you sexy as a motherfucker. But on one side, though, look like a uh, nigga the shit come out right here and the rest of it is vacancies. I don't know. Your mama got the same look, though. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just trying to just say it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? This is my own little commentary. This is how I get down. You can call me a barrel of motherfuckers. Because if you look at some of my old ass videos, nigga, I was looking so goddamn peculiar. I, it is what it is. It is what it is. But guess what? I've always had somebody to love me, though. You know what I'm saying? Or love what they thought they knew. You know what I mean? Now that I'm knowing who I am, shit, I'm teaching motherfuckers how to love the real me, goddammit. So on that note, love and hip-hop was bomb as fuck this week. I don't know what the episode number is and all that old type of shit. I'm going to look it up, though. But on that note, I'm out of this motherfucker family. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. Good morning. Okay? It's going on 1230. I got a taco to fuck with. And I got this love and hip hop to come back in on the back end of. Because the back end was the best part of the goddamn show. Y'all did that, Mona. Mona! Let Jocelyn go on and do her thing. You know what I'm saying? She going back to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Now, I like her mama got a little humble, humble little pad. You know what I'm saying? She might be over there with her mama and, and brother and all that old type of shit. Because that motherfucker ain't saved up no money. That's fucked up. So on that note, I'm gone. Y'all better get y'all get y'all some property around this motherfucker. Get you some stability. Stay grounded, family. I love you. I'm out. Good night.